And you know why I might be using Zoom? Is because check out this view from Wormleysburg. This is across the river looking at the city of Harrisburg. That is absolutely unbelievable how smoky it is this morning. And I kind of mentioned this earlier. We basically doubled uh, the amount, uh, the, the, the level of air quality index we're at right now. So, uh, you know, yesterday we were at a very unhealthy level. This morning we're at a hazardous level and many places across the Northeast are. In fact, Philadelphia, NYC is looking just a tad better. I don't even want to say that's better because that's still pretty bad. But pretty much across the board, wherever you go, you're going to see some bad air quality in the mid-Atlantic. And we expect that trend to continue today um, into the next few days. In fact, it's only until we get basically to Saturday, we're going to start to see some change late into Friday. Into Saturday, that's when we expect things to start really getting a little bit better. Uh, but for the next few days, we are stuck with what we have, which is bad air quality. And the reason for that is because we have this northerly flow. In the jet stream right now, you have basically what's happening in Canada. You have wildfires that are, you know, smoking up and, and burning and emitting all sorts of particulate. That's being picked up way to the north. And you can see this jet stream right here, which is bringing winds from the north all the way down to the south. And so you have the smoke that's being basically transported further to the south, and then it's being transported into uh, the mid-Atlantic region and into the northeast. And that's going to change as you head into the weekend. So by the time you get to a basically about Sunday, you have more of what's called a westerly flow, where you have winds flowing from the west towards the east. And so you don't have any mechanism that's going to bring that wildfire smoke down to the south. So we're kind of in good hands after you get basically to your, you know, your Thursday, your Friday, your Saturday, your Sunday. Until then, we're kind of stuck and we're going to be dealing with just copious amounts of this wildfire particulates and emissions uh, that have just made air quality just absolutely terrible at this point. And but once you get to Sunday and into your Saturday, that's when you start to see things moving into the clear. We're really going to move into the clear once we get into your Monday. I'll touch on that in a second, but in the meantime, into today, into tomorrow, hard to believe. We actually have a little bit of a rain chance today for maybe a few scattered showers across the region. Really wouldn't expect too much. I think this model is actually being a little bit generous in terms of the amount of rain it's putting down. But in, as you get into Friday, I do think this is looking a little bit better for Friday, the chance for some scattered showers and storms. So uh, locally, whenever you're gonna get these showers and storms, what that's gonna do, that's actually gonna clear the air. Thunderstorms are really good at clearing out any bad air and just putting in good air because you know remember there's winds that are blowing down from that thunderstorm and spreading out and it's clearing everything out it's like a mini cold front almost when it hits the ground rest of the week rain coming up on monday thanks in part to a cold front that's going to really help us and by the time you get to your tuesday and your wednesday things are going to be i think be looking pretty good but until then, uh, you're going to have to do a little bit of waiting, putting on an N95 mask. I would recommend that if you have one, if you have to go outside. Other than that, stay inside. There's really no reason to go outside unless you have to. And uh, I know that's what I'm going to do today. I'm probably going to pop in a movie and uh, just chill because what else is there to do? I guess you could go outside and experience the air if you want to, once in a lifetime experience. No, but, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Did that for a little bit yesterday and it wasn't fun yesterday, so it's really not going to be fun today. Allie had enough. I get it. I did, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jackson. You're welcome. <laughs>